Hey, welcome back. I'm Chris, and today we're going to take another look at this newer bearing slider. Now, after a little bit of a discussion and trying to figure out what was wrong with this thing, I pushed just a little bit further to, well, take the bearings apart. At first, it looked like I really couldn't take them apart, and I, I finally did. I investigated just a little bit further, and we got the bearings apart, cleaned them up the best I could, and honestly, it did make a bit of an improvement. And we'll see here, once I get this mounted on top, we'll see how much of an improvement it made compared to what it was before it's a big improvement and i'm probably going to take these apart again and clean them up even more because there might be just a little speck of metal or something inside the bearings still that i need to clean out of there plus i did not put grease back in the bearings i, I got all that out of there and once i know everything is out of there all the little shavings of metal and stuff i'll put grease back in there but for now it's a definite improvement. I could almost use the footage from this thing. And like I said, testing it with a macro lens is kind of an extreme test because any little bit of shake translates into a lot of shake when you're using a macro or a telephoto lens. So I'm really pushing it to the extreme with this budget slider. So you know what, let's go ahead, take this thing apart. And well, it, just in case you have a slider like this yourself and you wanna kinda do a DIY fix on it just to improve it just a little bit better, be my guest and well, do what I did. So let's get to that. All right, let's flip this thing over and take the bearings out. Now you have a few things going on here. You got the flange bearings, you got two of them, a spacer that goes in the middle, and then a spacer that goes underneath everything once you bolt everything back in place. So to get these bearings opened up, you're gonna need something that's gonna allow you to kinda get up underneath here and just get that little retaining clip out of here. I'm using a pin to get under there and it, I mean, it, it's really kind of a pain in the butt to do, but it is definitely doable. I did it on all eight bearings. It is very possible. Well, that just shot out of there like crazy. Let me go fetch that. All right, so this is the clip that we just pulled out of there, or rather that just went flying out of there. And now we just need to get this shield out of place. And you can see the bearings inside there. Now if a little bit of a metal shaving got inside here, it would really cause a problem to have these bearings, these ball bearings run smooth. So I think that's where all the shake is coming out. And maybe there's something inside here further that I need to take out and some debris or something that I need to get out of here. And there's the shielding and the retaining clip. And the retaining clip you can kind of see that there's a notch going one way, not really a notch, but it, it's cut at an angle one way versus the other. And you want to pry on the side that has the point kind of going out a little bit, just so you can get a little bit of leverage in there when you're prying that out of there. So there really are a couple different options if you're looking at this newer bearing slider. One, you could hopefully get a unit that doesn't have uh, imperfections in the bearings and you'll be all set and you'll have a nice basic slider for most of your needs or you could go and invest and buy new bearings uh, the link will be well not a link but the bearing sizes it's a flange bearing will be up on the screen I forget exactly what it was but it, it'll be there or you can go ahead and take these bearings apart clean them up and hopefully get something usable out of it there's a couple different options or you could go ahead and make your own slider if you want, which was an option I was considering, but I figured the work involved and the money I would spend building a slider, I could pretty much get one already built and maybe improve upon it. I just wasn't counting on the bearings having imperfections or little pieces of metal shavings in them or whatever is going on with these bearings. And that's not necessarily a reflection upon newer or newer, however you say their name, I apologize for that but it's a reflection upon the manufacturing process whether it's the bearings themselves being manufactured or this unit being put together itself you know something like that in any event this slider is becoming more and more usable to where well you'll see it in more and more shots the better i can get it to slide better so I think we're pretty much done for today. I'm gonna keep messing around with this. I'm gonna clean those bearings out again. And the only other thing I have to work on is to get some nice smooth movements out of this because, well, I'm kind of shaky and I have a couple ideas of, well, I don't know if it'll work or not, but we'll, we'll put it to the test and see how I can get a nice smooth slide out of this thing. So you know what, I'll see you on the next one. 